Hey, what's good, my fellow masters? So a bunch of info just dropped yesterday, which I just happened to notice today, all of it pertaining to the fifth anniversary for NA that is fast approaching. First off, the most important, free SQ. That's right, to celebrate the actual anniversary date of the English version of FGO, which is June 25th, there will be a special login bonus providing us with 30 Saint Quartz. To be eligible, you just have to clear Fuyuki and log in between June 24th, 2100 PDT and June 25th, 2059 PDT. 30 SQ is very welcomed. One more multi can potentially make all the difference. Then we have the official 5th anniversary countdown campaign, which will be starting on June 24th. There will be a series of memorial quests from the various singularities and lost belts. Starting from the 24th through to the 28th of June, two memorial quests will be released as indicated here. Clearing all the memorial quests will net a total of eight summon tickets and two 5th anniversary sightseeing portrait tickets. Of course, each memorial quest will require that you have already cleared its associated story chapter. So, the Lost Belt 1 memorial quest will need LB1 to have been cleared to access it. Please keep this in mind as depending on where you're at in the story, it will dictate the potential quest rewards you can obtain. The memorial quest period will last until July 8th, so there is some time in there to catch up on some of the story if needed. Now, regarding the sightseeing portal tickets, those can be used to obtain one or two CEs of your choosing among a pool of 48 limited time craft essences. These sightseeing craft essences are commemorative, so each one will have the same stats, with the only significant difference being the art between them. And all of them look to have some fantastic art, which kind of puts me in a bind since there are a bunch with portraits of my favorite servants. But I digress. Note that the 48 sightseeing craft essences will be divided up into 10 groups with associated story chapter unlock conditions. So depending on where you are in the story, certain CEs may not be available to choose from. 10 sightseeing portrait CEs for the first singularity group, 8 CEs for the fourth singularity group, 6 for the sixth singularity group, 2 for the final singularity group, 4 for the pseudo singularity 1, 6 for the pseudo singularity 3 group, 2 for LB1, 7 for the Lost Bell 2 group, 2 for the Lost Bell 4 group, and LB5 has one sightseeing portrait you can choose. Of course, if I had it my way, I would definitely want to get all of these sightseeing portrait CEs collector that I am. And Lasengle does provide an opportunity for this if, if you're willing to spend the same quartz, naturally. The fifth anniversary sightseeing portrait pick up summon banner. For this banner, the only craft essences that can be summoned are the sightseeing portraits along with the permanent pool of servants with the standard summoning rates. To give slightly better odds, there will be a daily rotation for the CE lineup indicated by the schedule shown here. For each rotation, there will be a block that contains specific sightseeing portrait CEs. The Kanto and Koshin block, the Tokai and Hokuriku block, Kyushu, Hokkaido and Tohoku, Here's the Chikogu and Shikoku block. And lastly, the Kansai block. If you're interested, this banner will be available from June 24th through to July 8th. Personally, I can't say I'm not tempted, but as much as I would love to collect all of these CEs, I'll just have to be satisfied with the two I can get from the exchange tickets. <laughs> there is also a stream scheduled on July 3rd at 1500 PDT with the familiar Albert Cow hosting, along with Kano-san as a guest. This will be streamed from Anime Expo, where all the 5th anniversary information is expected to be disclosed, and I'm expecting the official campaign to start afterward, most likely after a server maintenance. So, I'm thinking July 4th at 0100 PDT. Which brings me to a good point to segue into the topic of SQ. There have been comments asking if I planned another how many SQ for Castoria video, and originally I wasn't going to until I started seeing more and more comments from viewers that found themselves back at zero sync quartz. So with just roughly 10 days until July 3rd, I figured why not? This countdown campaign provided a perfect opportunity. So for this SQ count, 
let's push it to the very last minute, as it were, to give us some extra saving time. On JP, their 5th anniversary campaign lasted for 14 days. So if we assume I'm correct and Annie's 5th anniversary starts on July 4th, then the last day of Castoria's banner should be on the 18th. For our purposes, I'm going to use the 17th for a bit of, bit of a buffer. So from the time of this recording, on June 23rd, there are 25 days until July 17th. From just the daily login rewards and completing the weekly master missions in this time period, we can get 23 SQ and 3 summon tickets. And in the 30 SQ from the app release campaign, the potential 8 tickets from the memorial quests, 4 SQ from the projected server maintenance, plus the usual 5 summon tickets from the Mana Prism Shop monthly refresh. We come to 57 SQ and 16 summon tickets. Now please keep in mind this is saving up to the assumed second to last day of the 5th anniversary. This will, will provide an opportunity to claim the 10 summon tickets from the 5th anniversary consecutive login bonus. Plus, there will be time to clear Castoria's trial quest, along with the 5 new servant costume quests, providing another 6 summon tickets. An additional 3 summon tickets can be obtained from the limited missions where you simply need to increase the number of friends or players you're following. And lastly, there will be 10 more summon tickets added to the Mana Prism shop for the anniversary as well. For a total of 29 tickets from the 5th anniversary campaign outside of the memorial quests. So now our count is 57 SQ and 45 tickets. We're also expecting there to be a retweet Facebook sharing campaign for the July 3rd stream. Assuming it works exactly how it did on JP, there should be 90 Saint Quartz awarded to each player for reaching the retweet and sharing goal. Now, the actual SQ reward for the retweet campaign was 60 SQ after applying a multiplier, and then another 30 from something called Gilgamesh's Challenge. Seeing this, I'm thinking the 30 SQ from NA's app release celebration is the equivalent to JP's Gilgamesh Challenge, whatever that was. I say this only because JP did not have something like an app release campaign, or at least nothing that I could find. But regardless, let's hope the goal they set is fairly reasonable so we can successfully get these quartz, whether they be 60 or 90. For the purposes of this SQ count, I'll be conservative and go with 60 from the retreat campaign and assume the other 30 is from the app release celebration. As for the other SQ from the 5th anniversary, let's take a look at the new extra missions that will be added. If you have cleared up to the latest Lost Belt, including Yuga, Shetra, and Atlantis, then there are 20 SQ that can be claimed. And if you have cleared all of the main story free quests up to the latest Lost Belt, and including the ones in the 1.5 story arc, then that's another 20 quarts. Realistically speaking, very few players will have cleared 90 to 140 strengthening quests or 200 to 220 interludes. So I'm not going to count these. But these extra missions will be there to work towards in the future. Thus, that's 40 SQ we'll be counting from these new extra missions. This brings us to the St. Quartz Fragments reward. For every main story quest, including those zero AP ones with no battles, an SQ fragment will be awarded. As indicated here, if you are completely caught up to the latest Lost Belt and including the 1.5 story arc, then 1046 SQ fragments can be obtained. This works out to roughly 149 quartz. Now sorting it all together, 60 SQ from the Retweet campaign, 40 quartz from the extra missions, and 149 SQ from the Main Story Progress Fragment Rewards, a subtotal of 249 Saint Quartz. Add that up with the others and we have a grand total of 306 Saint Quartz, 45 Summon Tickets. It's a relatively decent shot at summoning a Raid Up SSR. If you're interested in the chance percentage, from just the 306 SQ, which provides 112 summons, factoring in the plus one bonus rolls from either singles or multis, there is a 59.33% chance of summoning the Raid Up SSR. Include the 45 summon tickets, and that chance goes up to 72.56% to summon Castoria. As I said, it's a relatively decent shot, or perhaps better than decent, really, with the summoning tickets. But please take this with a grain of salt, as the gacha can be brutal at times. Having said that, 
It is my wish that everyone has an extremely lucky time on the Day of Destiny rolling for Castoria. Well, that's it for this latest segment of How Many SQ. I made lots of notes from the previous video on which servants to cover next in regards to saving up quartz. Most likely, I'll make another as the 5th anniversary campaign is ongoing. Please look forward to it. Um, still working on my GSSR overview. <laughs> Rather, it's finding the time to focus on it that's a challenge. So I hope to get it out in the next few days. Please leave a like if this was informative in some way or if you just enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments which of the sightseeing portrait CEs you're planning on choosing. Many thanks for watching, and until the next one.